and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147. Happy 19th of December, everybody. Um, a very big happy birthday as well to Karis, who is um, my second eldest. She is 23 today. So, um, yes, we're on the 19th of December, so we're doing an eye. But before I get into that, we have a big box for today's 19th of December. And, oh, looks like it's something diamond painting related. We have, oh, this looks, this looks like one of the mirrors. So, in here, if I can fish it out we have a diamond paint well a mirror yeah it is a mirror say hello to the camera don't know if it's showing but it's up there um, and it has a little Christmas snowman on each side and then we get the diamonds to go with we've already had a pen and wax and things like that so yes we have a little DIY DIY diamond painting mirror for today's. That's quite cute. All sorts of bits round together. So that's day 19. I'm back on repeating trays. So I am currently on the white zesty tray. And let me I think I'm gonna have to take a couple of these off just so I can get to number 19. And then 23, let's line it up with that one. 21 is lined up there. Oh, and we are going to have a little bit of a, a funny size square for later. But there we go. We have a square for today, a 19. And we don't have any background on this one. So I'm going to start with 310. The pen for today is a second one from Brianne. So this is the Christmas like, candy stripe one. Let me get some 310. Oh, that's probably a bit too much 310 in my tray. But I give them a good shake over that side. Get as many lined up as possible. And then shake all the excess to this side so that I've got the trays to work on. And let's zoom you guys in. I think I'm going to have to move my easel. Just a little bit, not too bad. There we go. So still got lots and lots of questions and comments and all sorts of stuff to go through, which is great. I've not had to think about what I'm talking about really for this one the whole time. I can just waffle, diamond paint and waffle my little heart away. Oh, I'm liking this section already. It's got nice big lots of, of black and blocky. It's pretty much doing every colour, close to every colour apart from the background colour, which is fun. Okay, so Colette says she has been watching the Whip and Waffle while building Harry Potter Lego sets. And she's been taking a break from diamond painting. She said, but when you said there's only about three Zesty Wolf paintings left, she had to order one. Well, I'm glad you got one because they have now gone. They have now all gone. Uh, she said she can't wait to do it now. Thank you for everything that you do for the community. Oh, well, I'm glad you're going to get back into diamond painting with the Zesty Wolf. But it is nice to mix it up as well. It means when you do go back to diamond painting, say after doing some Lego, you enjoy the diamond painting a bit more. I've still got some Lego to do. Um, I've actually been doing the world map. Um, I don't think I'm doing the background. As it says, I'm doing the background different to match whichever room it goes up in. But I've done a, I've done a few panels, but then I didn't end up getting the rest done so I really need to get that done maybe that will be something for me to do over Christmas as well just because you know I like to add to my list over Christmas of things I plan to do between that and the cross stitch uh, 
Anne says, she says her diamond painting is 56 inches by 56 inches and she did catch up on the 10th, she said. She didn't know how she did it, but she did catch up. Um, she did decide to order Zesty Wolf the other day for doing for the June waffle. She was very happy to be able to get one, she said, especially since I said there was only three left at the time. Yes, there was only three left when I did that last video. Um, they, have, they were sort of trickling out throughout the month of December. But they have now all left the building. Um, and they're all on their way to, to new homes. Some will get done quicker than others and some will stay in people's stash, but that's fine. Um, she said she also bought two of the in-stock trays. She said, thank you so much. Thank you. She said she enjoys the channels so much and she loves watching kitting up videos. Yes. Kitting up the preparation type videos are, you know, one of the more popular type videos that I do. Um, I just, you know, I don't want to kit too many up in advance. I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to end up with kitted up paintings and not actually getting any done. So I try to make sure I spread those out as to what I'm actually really going to be able to achieve and complete. Um, Diamond Painting with Samantha says she wants to try some UK chocolates. Where would you recommend to shop from? Ooh. So, sort of the nice, in effect, normal UK chocolates is probably Cadbury or Galaxy. And Cadbury UK does taste different to the likes of Cadbury Australia just because of the different countries' climates, clim, climates, that's the word, they do have different stuff in them. But if you want a sort of treat chocolate, then Hotel Chocolat is always a nice one. Um, I'm not a huge chocolate fan. I do like, you know, I do like chocolate, but it's, it's not necessarily sort of my first go-to item to pick up. But, yeah, you can't go wrong with, like, you know, real Cadbury's or Galaxy UK, but Hotel Chocolat is really nice as well. There are many, many sort of independent places, independent chocolatiers, if you want to be able to try something really, really special. Um, Fortin's Chocolate's quite nice as well. I know the kids always like their Easter eggs when we get them from there. Can't really think of any other UK ones off the top of my head. Um, Kasara says they're now she's now using glue dots for the first time. She's only found there the 13 millimetres, but she makes some um, little balls out of them, she said, and she's finding it works. She loves the sound that it makes. Yeah, it, it can get, it can either get on your nerves or be quite nice and, and therapeutic. It does die down after a little bit. You do find that the click click will die down a little bit once the glue dot's been used a lot. But this one is only on its second square. I did switch the tip with the one I used yesterday because it was already sort of primed up so I just switched over the tips in the pens and used the same glue dot but it's still got quite a bit of click left uh, she says she will buy the correct ones from my website she says but she's waiting on the new trays <laughs> yeah it's definitely more of an add-on item the glue dots I wanted them there for people there are some people in some countries that are you know it's harder to find glue dots um, and, and we put them on the website so that it was something that could just be picked up you know while you were getting something else it's sort of one of those little add-on items that you can pick up while you're picking up something else 
and at least you know where they are and you've seen me use them and you've seen that they fit in pens, which is the main thing. Uh, Kim's Crafting and Colouring, she says she loves our logbook. So we have a diamond painting logbook on the website, which has been created by us as diamond painters. Um, she said it's made her realise that her stash is huge. Yeah, it can be, be a bit epic adding everything in if you're going, you know, throughout your whole stash. Um, she said she was wondering, though, if you could make one for cross-stitching too. She said there are lots out there, she said, but none that I like. She said she knows that I cross-stitch too occasionally, so you'd have a good idea of what to put in it. Yeah, I could see some aspects working the same. So I could see the stash maybe and the wish list would still be able to work the same. The DMC numbers I would have to add more because cross stitch does have more DMC numbers available. Um, it's just whether I can make sure that I can get the, you know, the older potentially retired DMC as well. Uh, because some people will still have that in their, you know, threads. It's what would actually get put in the cross stitch part. I'd have to have a think about it. If you do have any ideas, Kim, on what sort of categories that you'd like to see in it or what information you would want in the logbook, if we were to do a cross stitching one, then by all means send that information over. Um, via the contact us form on the website we do have a couple of requests for extra logbook pages that have been emailed to us off the back of requests and we are going to look at them as soon as we've got you know some time to to get the design sort of sorted and potentially ready um, and put those into place and I'd be more than happy to look and see if we can do the same sort of thing with cross stitch which would of course be a lot easier if some stuff does transfer over I think the biggest thing would be the DMC numbers it's always the DMC numbers every file we create um, that includes the DMC numbers that's always the epic part is getting all the numbers into the files um, getting them laid out right getting them checked and triple checked that we've not missed numbers or typed numbers in wrong um, and I can imagine that would take quite a bit of time with the amount of different DMCs that you can get um, but yeah we'll be happy to look into it and see if it's something we can do Right, normally I sort of go across the bottom, so in effect I would be on the turquoise, but I kind of feel like this orange needs dealing with first. So I'm going to go off from my normal little norm, and I'm going to do this orange here, because even though it's a row above because of the black, I feel like it's on the same row. So we're going for orange first. Uh, diamond painting with Samantha says the cross stitch pattern is beautiful so the christmas cross stitch that i did yes that's what's made me do it it was the pattern that made me do it well and truly uh, she said she can't wait to see it all finished and she's finally caught up on all the advent videos <laughs> it can sometimes take a bit to catch up on the advent videos if you've missed a few they are quite a bit longer than than some of my other videos you know if you end up playing catch up if you do watch all of my videos and maybe play catch up after a few days some of them can be 10 minutes long and some of them are longer so it's a little bit quicker to catch up but with the advent they're all long they're all longer so it definitely takes a bit more time but thank you for doing so i appreciate it um Mary Ann says, is the Advent DP diamond painting something that you created? Uh, yes and yes. So the concept of doing 
um, a diamond painting as an advent calendar is something that I started three years ago. I am not aware of anybody that had done it before I did. Um, I'm not aware of anybody that did. But the idea was just to divide up a canvas into 24 and complete a section each day between 1st of December and Christmas. And the Zesty Wolf, i.e. the picture I'm currently doing, um, is one that Megan and I came up with and Diamond Art Studio UK brought to life. For us, it was an, it was is an exclusive to us, and they have now all sold out. Um, but yeah, it was great fun. As soon as as soon as we'd sort of you know clarified the image, so the actual image of the wolf is something that was available for us to use, um, copyright free for us to use, and then. You know, we brought him to life with the colour and then Diamond Art Studio did did their magic um, and gave him all of his shading and, yeah, turned him into a, a full-blown diamond painting. And, yeah, did an absolutely amazing job and we couldn't be happier with him. He looks so cool. Okay. Let me nearly finish with this colour. So I've just got one more colour to do for the orange block and then I'll be moving on to the turquoise. But even though, oh and I've just, I've just managed to tip my diamonds into the spout of my tray, had the diamonds over the top of my pot, my round pot, and then just as I went to tip them in, my finger knocked the pot out the way and they all went on the desk. So let me get all those diamonds back in. It's a good job we've got extras because I'm sure I lost a couple to the floor, but I'm not going hunting the floor. I'm not going hunting for them. I'm not, not in the mood for that. <laughs> if I need to find any later, I'll find any later, but going by, the background colour, um, there is plenty of extra diamonds for mishaps like that, which is which is exactly what I need. Um, Debbie says, hi Rebecca, do you have Patreon? She said, as I would love to join up, she said, you are my inspiration for restarting my diamond painting again. Um, she lost her mojo for doing it uh, and you gave it back. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Um, I don't have a Patreon. I did wonder about doing a Patreon at one time. However, you know, with Patreon, of course, the idea is that you get extra videos, you know, extra sort of content to be able to watch by being a Patreon member, which I think, you know, for some people it does work absolutely wonderful and it's not a never for me, but at the moment I feel like, um, you know, I don't want, I don't want to not have some of the content on YouTube and I don't want it to be something where, you know, maybe Patreon have early access and then it potentially goes on to YouTube. I looked at a few different ways of potentially doing it while still keeping the content available on YouTube for people. Um, but I do enjoy having the content out there for people to be able to watch for free and to be able to, you know, see where I'm up to without it being a little bit maybe outdated. Because not everybody can afford to join in the likes of Patreon. Um, so what I did decide to do instead is I have um, signed up for what's called a Kofi. So I do have a Kofi button 
on my website, so admorezest.com. You can click to buy me a coffee. So while there is, you know, there's not a matter of this extra content or anything like that, but if you do want to show, you know, just a little bit of support towards the channel in a monetary way, that is there um, for the people that want to. And, you know, those that don't, watching it, you know, watch it, the fact that there is adverts. I try not to put too many adverts, but the fact that there is adverts and stuff on my channel does help me to generate some income. Um, Patreon may be something that I do in the future, maybe not. I just don't want to take away from YouTube by doing Patreon, and I've not yet found a way that that could work, um, that I'd be happy happy to do so at the moment I just have Kofi you can buy me a coffee if you want to um, to sort of show some support but you don't have to um, as always subscribing to my channel liking the videos um, watching the videos is what helps is what helps me to you know gain a bit of income from this and allows me to keep bringing more and more things to you guys as well. Um, you know, and yeah, just helps to keep the channel going, helps to keep the channel growing. If it ever comes to the point where, you know, I don't need to do my day job, then maybe I would rethink, you know, still being able to bring the same content to YouTube and maybe bringing something else to Patreon. I've just not yet got what that could be so if it ever happens I'll let you guys know but yeah if you do want to do any sort of you know monetary gift con blah, 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 contribution um, then there is always the option to to buy me a coffee uh, which is just linked at, right at the bottom of our website um, along with the links to the YouTube channels and the Facebook group. But I am happy that you are restarting Diamond Pain again, Debbie, of course. <laughs> um, and I hope you enjoy going through, you know, past videos, catching up with things, you know, seeing seeing what other videos and things are out there and Diamond Pain along while you watch them. Is, is perfect. Um, the cat lady, so she says, in relation to trays, she said, I for one, she said, would like a set in the same colour. Her choice would be clear, but she's not overly fussy. She said, so maybe you could sell as a set of two. Ooh, and Susan likes that idea as well. I think it's going to take us a while to sort of establish what is the best pattern for selling the trays. I reckon we need to sort of try a few over the next few months. Plus, you know, as we're starting to pick up new colours for trays, we are trying to pick up two rolls of each colour with the idea of either bringing out each size or potentially doing more of one size and mixing up which sizes we do um, but we do still have a few colours from when we went a little bit crazy and bought loads of different ones that we also need to to work through first um, and get them printed off but we'll see how zesty trays go it might put halt on all proceedings until we've got the orders out for those it's the zesty trays is is one that i am expecting to be busy um, I'm just hoping I'm prepared enough for it, but time will tell. All I can keep doing is printing, 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 and see where we go from there. Um, All Things Crafty by Kaz says, at the moment she's at work and she doesn't finish till half eight. Ooh, I don't like the late shift. I hate mornings. Don't get me wrong, I am not a morning person. 
um, but I would much rather do an earlier shift and have my evening otherwise I think it just knocks me out of kink I end up staying up later and then I go to bed later and then yeah um, Linda says what about a tray that's absolutely unspillable I could do your tray that's absolutely unspillable Linda I don't know if you'd be able to get your diamonds out to actually put them on on the canvas though it would probably be you know in the shape of a box and you put your diamonds in your box and therefore it's unspillable um, but you won't be able to get them out to actually diamond paint I don't know I don't know if that one could be done fully and completely um, but yeah Un unspillable is okay but actually being able to work with them as well is a whole different ball game Um, Teresa said, sounds like your daughter needs a light pad for Christmas. Yes, she does actually want the same same light pad that I have, the, the thicker wireless light pad that is dearer. But they constantly say that they are coming soon. And they haven't yet come back into stock. So unfortunately she can't get one yet I know it did take me a while for me to be able to get hold of mine so I don't quite know what's happening with them and I don't quite know you know why they've not not restocked them and made more because obviously people want them uh, Darcy said hoping that by next holiday season she'll be able to order one of the trays she says she really likes them um, arthritis is a pain that she can't get away from but she's enjoying the advent videos well hopefully things like using a thicker pen you know maybe the wider tray so that you're not gripping you know something small may help you a bit in relation to that but it is a horrible thing to have to deal with you know, it's not nice to have pain for everything that you do. Got a bit of fluff on that. Uh, Darcy also asks, how did you get into diamond painting? Well, I've always been somebody that likes crafts and crafty things. And, oh, okay. You want to jump onto the canvas, that's fine. But can you jump in the right place? Because that is not where you belong. Oh no, okay, it's decided it's going to the floor instead. Um, yeah, so I, I spotted a couple of sort of adverts popping up on Facebook for things. And I was like, oh, that kind of, you know, that kind of looks interesting. And then a scrapbooker that I followed on YouTube got one. Um, and she just sort of, you know, unboxed it and showed a little bit of her doing it. And I was like, I really like the idea of that. So being the impatient person that I am, I went hunting on Amazon for one that I could get quickly. Found a partial in round that I could get sent to me. And this was three, four years ago. Um, did one, absolutely loved it ordered a huge one a 60 by 90 I think um, and a 40 by 50 from AliExpress and I don't think I've really looked back since I've been absolutely loving diamond painting since you know I've explored more companies of course you know started on YouTube and yeah, it's just grown and grown and grown and I just really enjoy it. I think, you know, part of the enjoyment for me is not only is it relaxing and it's very, it's a very affordable hobby. You know, there are many different variations. Yes, there can be variations of quality, um, but you know, you can still do it for a very reasonable price. You can adjust that according to your budget. And I think I like the fact that it's quite ordered 
and neat you know in the fact that you are lining the diamonds up and you are putting them in in the right place and all that sort of stuff and then when you're done it just looks amazing and I think that's what draws it to me as well plus it's not something that you do and you know spend two hours on and it's done otherwise I think if it if it was done that quick I would be completely overwhelmed with diamond paintings if I could get you know any size diamond painting done in an hour or two but it's 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 just it's relaxing isn't it it's you know there's some things that you have to think about but really it, it's not heavy thinking it's my switch off time I do really enjoy it just to switch off a little bit it's very very similar to cross stitch in you know the grid style and all that sort of stuff but it is easier because you're not following a pattern um, you're not following a pattern it is done a little bit quicker than a cross stitch because you're not having to stitch you know twice and yeah I love it and it's not messy like paint by numbers okay D onto the hot pink now that's all I've got left is my hot pink sections uh, Lady Dax, she says, oh, a black zesty tray sounds great. She says, and one in dark purple would be good too. She says, says me who decided I had enough trays. I think you decided you had enough trays before the last lot came out and then still ordered, I think. Um, she says, maybe she just meant that she's got enough trays for the rest of this year. Um she says she has to agree that the thicker pens are great when you suffer from cramping hands like she does. Um, she loves her limited edition one so much. She said, have you thought about getting together with Sam to produce a mystery painting for the June waffle? She said, and maybe have it with a solid cover. She said that would be exciting. <laughs> Um, no, we haven't haven't discussed anything for the June waffle. I think for definitely for this year, I think the June waffle is going to be a grab one from your stash rather than a this is the one that I'm doing. Um, I just I think we have well, I know I have. Um, Sam possibly does as well, though she's extremely accommodating. But I know myself this year or, you know, this beginning of the year, I, I feel like I've already got so much on my to-do list um, that I want to do, you know, and I want to put in place for the future that I feel if I added, you know, another painting to my list might be a little bit too much for me um, or for us I just I, you know if I'm doing it I want to do it right and I want to be able to give the time to it so I think for this June it will just be normal um, but never say never in regards to in the future of a potential mystery or a potential doing anything for you know a June waffle but I'm just not sure if it could be pulled together that quick I think for both mine and Sam's sanity I think you know we need to be quite forward and ahead for planning <laughs> um, as much as we possibly can for any future ones and we'll see how it goes from there but it has been a, an absolute dream working with um, Diamond Art Studio UK for this painting. It's been a, it's been absolutely wonderful. Couldn't have asked for anything better um, in regards to it. But yeah, I don't think there'll be one for June. I think there's there's other things that I want to get straight and sorted and organised. 
and feel like I'm on top of stuff before I add something else to my list of things to squeeze in around work. <laughs> um, Darcy says you're a diamond painter and answering messages at the same time. She said a lot of the ones that she watches end up talking more than actually placing drills. Yeah, I, I can see that and I can see where they sometimes get that from. Sometimes I do sort of take a minute to pause and go, okay, what, what was I doing? Was I reading or was I placing drills? And I can't quite remember. You see, see the mess, by the way, that I've made down here as well. Let me see if I can zoom out. I'm not sure if you're actually going to be able to see it. Partly. You see some of these, these diamonds all down here in the bottom corner. I went to tip them from the pot into the tray. And I did tip some into the tray. I then just missed with a load of them as well. So I'm having a, a real drill dropping day today. So it does happen to all of us. I think I've just lost a couple more. <sighs> I think I need a nap. Okay, right, they're back in anyway. Those that haven't hit the floor are back in. And I kind of feel like today's advent, I don't think the section was any, was particularly small, but I feel like today's advent has gone really, really fast. Um, and I don't know why. Maybe I'm just diamond painting at the speed that I'm talking. I don't know. But it will finish when it will finish. I say it is Karis's birthday today, so I think we're nipping out soon. I think she wants to nip out. Um, maybe do a little bit of shopping. But I do need to make sure that this video is up beforehand. Um, Josie Cook says, as the smaller trays are referred to as zesty trays, are you going to give the big trays a name? Yeah, I mean, I think we just really refer to the big trays as the add more zest trays. And then the small trays are the zesty trays. If there is any names that people think, you know, would be better for the big tray, by all means, shout up. Um, and if we like them, we'll, we'll rename the big ones. But I think they've just had, you know, the standard shop name as being the standard tray for so long. That's why we just call them the Admiral Zest Trays. And these are the Zesty Trays. Um, okay. It's done. That is possibly the quickest whip and chat. I think I've done in this series. So I do apologise to those that are trying to keep up and finish at the same time. Um, but I say it is Karis's birthday. I'm trying to think if the memory card saved twice and this is actually a longer one. I don't know anymore. I've forgotten. But he's done. Nonetheless, we have one eye in a Zesty Wolf and then we get to do a little bit more of the background tomorrow which will be nearly finished off but there's only five more days till christmas is that five more sleeps as well six sleeps if we include today's anyway have an absolutely amazing sunday everybody um thank you so much as always for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon